Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be looking at some more Get Rich Quick ads, and we're gonna be critiquing them. So sit back and relax, and let's laugh at some bad Get Rich Quick ads, and also maybe learn how to get rich along the way. Probably won't happen, these aren't very helpful, if you didn't realize by now. We're gonna start off with this ad here. Best free funnel and website builder I've ever seen. You can get free hosting, three full websites or sales funnels. So right off the bat, if I were to, so right off the bat, if I was able to speak English, that'd be great. You know, he's like, so, if you wanna learn how to make a lot of money, you gotta to listen to me. You know, just like a little bit too close, you know? Just back off a little bit, you know? There's way too much sun across his face, you can barely see him, it looks like he's in a foggy room. And also, this guy tends to do a lot of swallowing. Groove pages. If you've seen any of the Charisma On Command videos, they're really great about this, but they explain how when you do that in a sentence, it kind of means you're a little bit nervous or you're not quite 100% sure about what you're talking about. At some point, if you're speaking and you start to get a lot of saliva in your mouth, of course you have to swallow. When you see someone do that, it is showing you that whatever's going on, they're probably not totally comfortable with because their speaking cadence and their breathing is such that they can't time the swallow in a way that isn't in the middle of a sentence. And he does it about 10 times, I'm gonna guess. I'll make a compilation of all of them. Let's just go right now. Perfect, yeah. Place, dance. Uh, um, um. I know he's trying to do the whole one take thing, but sometimes if you're not good enough at the one take, like me for sure, I cut like the heck out of my videos. They're just chop, 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 chifty chop. If you don't say the line right, say it again and then keep on going. I just think that would have made it a little bit better. So hopefully a small percentage will get this and seeing as I'm an affiliate, I'll get commission that will hopefully cover some of these ads, some of the costs of these ads. So he's not even sure as well. <laughs> he's like, please hopefully pay for these ads. He's taking the gamble, you know, putting out some YouTube ads when he's not even sure he's gonna be able to make enough money to pay for the ads. Gotta hand it to him, that's a businessman if I ever saw one. So yeah, this one gets about a five out of 10 for me, I think, cause it was kind of meh. So let's move on to the next one. What's the next one gonna be? And I've been using Doodly now for a few weeks to create these really fun um, videos to share with patients, prospective patients on social media. Hi, I'm Brad Callen. That was a really abrupt transition there, I feel. Gotta get out the old playing cards notebook and give them a minus point for that one. Just right away. She's talking about her thing and they're like, boom, over to the ad, let's go. Because Doodle videos are fun and engaging, they can get you more clicks, likes, shares, and most importantly, sales than any other type of video. But are they though? Are they really that engaging though? I would probably click off this before I clicked off somebody talking. Like I would prefer to see somebody talk than I would to see these kind of weird drawings. Cause I find like a lot of the shapes and the drawings are very basic too. And especially none of them are even colored in as well. I'm very interested. Am I alone in thinking that? Or do other people feel like this too? Comment down below because I wanna know. I really wanna know if I'm the weird one here. You're really weird. Doodly is now the video tool of choice for over 150,000 businesses all over the world in virtually every industry and profession that you can imagine. Flight attendant. Why would a flight attendant make a Doodly video? Oh, this calls for the green screen. We're gonna get the green screen out. Okay. Oh shit, I'm wearing a green shirt on the green screen. I'm gonna look like a floating head. Okay, so I'm back wearing a shirt that's not green, which now I can actually use this green screen now, okay. So imagine you're doing a presentation for a big company, the CEO's there and lots of other important people are there too and you're just like, okay guys, look at the projector, I got a doodly video for you guys. And since you're still watching this video, you already know how great doodle videos are at doing just that. You're wrong there mate, I'm not watching these because doodle videos are nice. I'm watching this so I can pick it apart from my YouTube video, come on. They talk about how doodly can capture your interest and how it's very good and engaging, but this ad is five minutes long and there's no way I'm sitting through the whole thing. Back me up on this guys, come on, comment down below what you think about a doodly video. I need to know this. Like, am I, do I just hate them for no reason or what? So forget about that bad doodle video. I'm gonna show you how to make a really good doodle video. So let's play that right now. Play that, roll that tape right now. Roll that VHS. <laughs>
So the Doodly ad was quite an unconventional get rich quick ad. It wasn't really a get rich quick ad, but the next ad is definitely a get rich quick ad. So we're gonna check it out. Give me 45 seconds and I'll show you how buying businesses is the best way for you to build your wealth. Right off the bat, this guy's like, give me 45 seconds and I'll show you how buying businesses is the best way to build wealth. And the video is two minutes and 44 seconds long. And you maybe think, oh, maybe he doesn't talk through the whole ad. He talks through the whole ad. I watched it. This one I actually watched. This is not a get rich quick thing. If you're looking for those things, please don't watch this video. Stop watching this video, guys. It's not a get rich quick thing, okay? You're watching this and you're trying to get rich. Come on, stop. Lucky for us, we're not trying to get rich quick. I'm trying to get rich as slow as possible. So that means I can watch this video. There are millions of baby boomers out there right now who are looking to retire every single day. Many of them own businesses, super profitable businesses. While they all want to retire, they don't want to fire their employees. Some of their employees are working with them for 10, 20, 30 years. They want to sell their business for someone they can trust, which leaves people like me and you, if you're open to that opportunity, to go out there and buy existing profitable business with very little investment. Imagine you've run a successful business for a long time and you're looking to retire, you're looking to get out of it. So your options are maybe you could promote one of the existing employees working there. Maybe there's somebody from your family who works there. They could be promoted, make them the owner now, you know, stuff like that. Or of course you could sell it too, but who are you gonna choose to sell it? Just some random kid who's seen a YouTube ad going, yo, yo, pick me. It's me, me, pick me. Sell it to me, you know? Or is he gonna sell it to somebody who actually has experience owning businesses? Especially in this case too, where it's a successful business and they really like their employees and they want to do the best for them. They don't wanna just sell the business off to somebody who's gonna run it to the ground and make it go bankrupt. For most people, this isn't applicable because you don't have enough money to even buy the business. I feel like this plan is just quite flawed. The business model is very simple. You find a motivated seller, a baby boomer who's looking to retire and sell their business. And at the same time, you go to a financial institution to help you with providing more capital to buy that business. I'm, I'm giving this one, I'm going pretty harsh on this one. I'm giving this one a three out of 10. First off, you need to have a lot of money or be able to get a lot of money. Secondly, you're looking for somebody who's selling a very successful business. Thirdly, they decide to sell it to you who has no experience and doesn't know anything about how the business runs. Those are pretty big things, I would have to say. Pretty big things. I mean, the worst case that's gonna happen is gonna, you're gonna own a, a new seven figure business. Which is just completely misleading. There's no guarantee that by you following his training, you're gonna be even able to do anything close to that. Hello, my name is Michael Harvey and I recently became a billionaire. It all started when I went to Money Mart and asked for a payday loan. I then went to the CEO of Walmart and asked him, if I give you this money, will you let me become the new CEO of Walmart? He accepted my offer and now I'm the new CEO of Walmart. And with this tried and proven method, you can become a CEO billionaire so easily. You go to Money Mart, you get as much money as you can, you go to a CEO and you say, here's the money, make me the CEO now. If this sounded like something you're into, click on the icon, which will take you to my website where you can watch this free webinar. The webinar will persuade you into buying about $1,000 worth of courses, but don't really worry about that. Over the past 30 days, I've taken 22 regular people and I've made them money. I've taken 22 regular people and I've made them money. That just, the way he said that was just like, boom. Over the past 30 days, I've taken 22 regular people right to jail, right away. The location kind of let him down. I see what he was trying to do with the beach. You know, that's a good idea. Beaches are nice locations, but just that beach, this, there's a lot of garbage in the water there, which is a shame. You know, plastic pollution is really bad and it definitely has to stop. Are they seriously chainsawing outside my house right now as I'm trying to do this video? Come on guys. The one thing that all these kind of get rich quick ads have in common is they are so vague about their process of making money. They never really like to give away much information. The ad is just all talk about how much money you can make. Like even when you go to his website, it says the simple two-step passion rotator model I use to generate 160K per month by outsourcing work to others. I understand why they wouldn't give away the secrets on how they use that system to make money, but to not even explain that they're using that system, I find in an ad is really silly. So we're gonna move over to the next ad, which is also another guy walking on a beach. So we're gonna see which one is best. Hey, if you've been trying to make money on the internet or you've tried something like affiliate marketing where you're trying to sell digital products and for whatever reason you can't generate a sale inside of your business. Okay, right off the bat, the guy's way too close to the camera again and it's really shaky. Whoa, are we in an earthquake or something? All these done for you marketing systems that these gurus are putting out there that are really just not designed 
to work properly, right? I love how all the people on these Get Rich Quick ads are like, all the other gurus, you know, they're all fake, you know, they're all trying to mislead you, but me, I'm the real OG, I'm legit, you know? I'm teaching you how you really do drop shipping. The rest of them are just lying. You see this ship here? You drop it, that is drop shipping for you. Imagine if there are 10,000 other marketers using the exact same done for you system as you are, how are you supposed to stand out, right? Imagine if there's 10,000 other marketers using the same done for you system. What is he doing? He's doing an ad on the beach like every other person selling courses. He's not even listening to his own advice. <laughs> I'm not like all the other 10,000 other online marketers because I walk on the beach and do my ads. Just like everybody else who walks on the beach and does their ad. I honestly have no clue how these people actually make so much money. It's ridiculous how much money these kind of people make selling their courses. So if we go to this guy's website, it goes how I use the indirect selling method to get 171 new customers in 29 days for my affiliate business. Then if we look down below, they have a little disclaimer like every single one of these do, and it says earnings and income representations made by Aaron Chen are aspirational statements only. These are aspirational statements. These are just like goals that they're like, yeah, wouldn't it be nice to make this amount of money? They just try to hook you with some really big numbers, but like none of it will be true. It will just be aspirational statements, you know? Hi, I'm another one of those gurus trying to sell you something as I walk along the beach, but I'm different than all the other gurus out there. This method made me $100,000 last week, but that was just for me selling courses, so don't really pay too much attention from that. Tim was able to make $85,000 using this method, and Michael made $50,000 using this method. Those are just aspirational numbers, so none of that really happened. So please click on the icon and then go to my website where you can buy my latest courses. Without your donations, I mean purchases, I wouldn't be making any money. So thank you so much. On to the next, on to the next ad. You probably don't know about it, but let me tell you what you do know about billboards. Oh, here I am just counting all my money, which is definitely not prop money. This is all real, 100% real. <laughs> These online billboards are the same ads you see on Facebook, Instagram, and Google, and local businesses will pay you to set them up. Now take a look at one of our students. He followed our method to run this ad for a pool installation company. He ran ads just like this one, and this business owner landed $360,000 worth of new pool installations. Our student made a cool 36K off that one single deal. Companies are going to want to use an advertising firm that is trustworthy and like that has been around for a while too. Like they're not just going to want some just random guys like, yo, I'll make you an ad on Facebook for like, and you just give me 10% of the profits it gives you. Like after a while, maybe you'll gather enough clients that then you can start advertising and get bigger people. But like, this isn't something you can just do right away very easily, I don't think. Small companies aren't gonna wanna have to pay you profits from their earnings. Like they're gonna wanna just do it themselves, you know? They can just do promoted posts on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. So there's no real need for you anyways. The time to start is now because all the major corporations haven't figured this out yet. Apparently all the major corporations haven't figured out how to make billboard ads yet. So Coca-Cola, Walmart, they don't know how to make billboard ads, so. Definitely haven't seen any of those ever. Unless you actually have a lot of experience doing this and good results, corporations are definitely not gonna risk it with you. Like, why would they? With this passive online business model, you can get massive return. I thought we knew by now to film vertically. I didn't think we had to like still be going, hey, don't film like this, film like this. I thought that we were done doing that. So I think we're done here, guys. We looked at some more. I'm kind of getting bored of doing this. Um Pretty tired. So we're gonna end the video there. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe. Also, if you managed to watch this long, thank you very much. I have another question for you. What's your favorite movie?